Hi everyone, my name is Thomas Kim. Today is May 12th, 2022. This is my 109th episode about CUDA, SQL, OpenGL, OpenCL, MFC. This is also Numerical Analysis 3, the third episode. In this session, we will generalize numerical derivative with a five-point stencil algorithm. If you haven't watched it, my previous video, episode 108, Numerical Analysis 2, please watch this video. If you haven't watched it, our previous episode, episode 108, Numerical Analysis 2, you may not be able to follow my current session. In the download source code section, click this link, show in folder, ungb it, I will change the folder name 109. Copy the folder path, copy, paste it in your working directory. Now start Visual Studio Code from folder 109. Include TalkWave 1 CUDA extensions.hpp derivative.cu Control B, Control Home. Also open this file. Control V. I will arrange side by side. In the file talkplay fun CUDA extensions.hpp control end. If you scroll up, you can find derivative five point stencil face. In this function, I made very simple but critical mistake. Here it should be H. Also, H. We have to fix like this. In this case, we are using symmetric difference quotient derivative algorithm. For more information about symmetric difference quotient derivative, please control click this link. Now start command prompt. DIR NVCC SDD C++ 17 O N dot exe extended lambda expt relaxed context for x ptx as minus suppress stack size warning derivative dot cu hit enter cls n you should be able to build successfully now control end we will cut control home i will fold it up here we will close namespace then paste. We will copy this part and paste. I will explain how to use these macros in near future. Here, template type name count type SED fair. Dim3, Dim3, get blocks, threads, count type, element count, int device id, CUDA, get device, device id, CUDA, device prop prop CUDA get device property prop device id we retrieved device property prop if element count less than prop Max thread 
per block. Dim three, treasure, element T, count. Dim three, blocks one, return, blocks threads. S, dim three, treasure, prop, max, treasure, per block. Dim three, Blocks element count plus prop max thread per block minus one divided by max thread per block semicolon return blocks thread. Let's build if this function works. We build again. It built successfully. We will use this function shortly. Please note that this function is not yet perfect. We will fix this function when we run CUDA debugging. Now, control end, template, type name, func, type, type name, arg, type, type name, delta, type, global, void, derivative, 5-point stencil kernel font type LVL reference app ARG type this is pointer x int n delta type h unsigned int element count Unsigned int grid size grid dim x times block dim x for unsigned int i equals block dim x times block index x plus thread index x i should be less than element count i plus equal grid size x i equals derivative Five point stencil base F X I N H. Now here template type name from type type name ARG type type name delta type plot std vector arg type derivative five point stencil cpu one type Forwarding reference app SCD vector ARG type X. Please note that this is not reference. Int n one first order derivative delta type H 
0.01f unsigned int element count x size or device r malloc device arg type element count copy to device from host device r x or blocks threads get blocks threads element count now we are calling this kernel like this triple angle bracket blocks threads then f device r get n h element count coda device synchronize copy to host from device x device r semicolon we now return x now let's learn how to use this function derivative dot cuda we will include for play one chrono random dot hpp namespace tcr for play one chrono random we added a new namespace alias tcr stands for talk play fun chrono random namespace alias control end here i will create a function for the test 5.2 stencil gpu array i will copy this function name and paste it here I will disable it or app don't forget device or we can also use host this is our lambda I would set or x don't forget semicolon return std sign x unsigned int n I would set Ten std vector plot x n auto generator tcr random generator int minus five five tcr random we can also use random parallel field x generator print x equals x and there we will test if this function works we rebuild one error detected cannot be generic lambdas we will remove host it cannot be auto I will set it plot. We rebuild. It built successfully. And so this is random numbers. With these random numbers, auto dx equals tce. We are calling this function derivative five point stencil GPU. First comes app then x then first order 
3 버티 프린트 dx dx and there I will align space like this we build again cls m so we evaluating derivative over sine x at minus 5 each derivative is this number 0 0.28 these are derivatives of sine x at these values we will create another function here template type name func type type name arg type type name delta type global void derivative 5 point stencil kernel func type l value reference f arg type this is pointer x arg type start arg type interval int n delta type h unsigned int element count i will unindent unsigned int grid size block dim x times grid dim x for unsigned int i block dim x times block index x plus thread index x i less than element count i plus equal grid size x i equals derivative five point stencil face app start plus i times interval n h here template type name fun type type name arg type type name count type type name delta type plot std vector arg type this is return type derivative five point stencil gpu one type forwarding reference app arg type start arg type and count type element count int n one delta type h 0.01 f or delta and minus start element count minus 1 or device r malloc device arg type element count we allocate memory or blocks thread get blocks thread element count now we are calling this function here angle bracket blocks thread triple angle bracket app device i get start and delta 
n h element count cuda device synchronize std vector arg type host r element count copy to host from device host r device r return host r now here void test 5.2 stencil gpu range i will copy this function and paste it here i will disable it here auto app device plot x std return std sign x semicolon unsigned int element count 10 plot start 0.0f plot and m pi times 2.0f 2 pi or dx equals tce derivative 5 point stencil f1 start and element count this is f1 print dx dx and there now we build again cls n from 0 to pi we evaluate first order derivative of sin x at 10 points this is 10 points these are the derivatives of sin x at 10 points between 0 to pi 